Okay, back when I was sleeping in my mama crib But even back when I was up there in my homie crib Paying $1,700 for the rent money well spent First of all, if talks about suicide or the word suicide itself makes you upset, don't watch this video. And YouTube, Suicide Boys is the name of the duo. I'm not trying to be offensive. Please don't demonetize me. Right? Well. I'm probably going to get demonetized anyways because I cuss like a freaking sailor. So, uh, yeah. What is up, my fellow hip-hop heads and music lovers in general? My name is G-Vans and welcome back to my channel. Um, as always, I got three reviews or three albums to review today. And since I don't work today, you bet your ass I can fucking, uh... Well, there goes an F bomb. Damn it. Um, you you bet your ass that I can upload today on Friday. For once, is gonna be uploaded on Friday. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. I got three albums to talk about, so let's get right to it. As you can tell from my little stupid unnecessary intro and from the title of the video. The first album I'm reviewing today is a little album called Live Fast, Die Whenever, in all caps. It's an EP, EP album, kind of same thing. I, I don't know. It's a, an extended play, as they call it. Um, and it is by the underground New Orleans hip-hop group, The Suicide Boys. But it's not just by them. They've also teamed up with Blink-182's drummer, Travis Barker. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. I don't know. I don't know if the R is silent. If the R is silent I was about to call him Travis Baker, but I'm pretty sure it's Barker. I don't entirely know how to pronounce names, to be quite honest with you. And here I am complaining that people don't know how to pronounce my Mexican-ass name. How ironic is it? But yeah, um, I actually didn't know that Travis Barker was Blink-182's drummer, or he still is. I don't know if Blink-182 if Blink are still like doing stuff together, but I didn't know that. Uh, it, I barely found out today, so um, go ahead and roast me in the comments down, in the comments down below. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but I've heard Travis Barker on many, many like artists that I listen to like for example he does a lot of stuff with Yellow Wolf uh, he's done a lot of stuff with Tech 9 as well I have no doubt in my mind that he's probably done some stuff with King Izo but you know Travis Barker works with a lot of like rappers to say the least and today is his first time working with the Suicide Boys or at least I'm I'm thinking it's the first time I don't really know if they had history before creating this EP um, but yeah, Suicide Boys, um, let me just say that I'm a fairly new Suicide Boys fan, so whatever I'm gonna say in this review about them, I'm probably getting wrong, so my bad. Uh, I got into the Suicide Boys when, <laughs> when I took a trip in 2017, uh, to, to Mexico for the first time. And my cousin was playing Suicide Boys of all things, and you know I was like, yeah, you know what? Like it's it's pretty dope. I'm not I'm not that into like 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 that sort of emo rap, like I like I do like Juice World and all that. Um, but for the most part, that sort of like emo shit, like I kind of like can't really fuck with. Or it's not that I can't; it's just that I don't really fuck with it. And like the the same thing goes with like the pop drama. It has to be a very specific artist. And when I listened to Suicide Boys for the first time, uh, the first song I ever heard, heard for them was part three of the Kill Yourself series. Um, I was like, you know what? These guys are pretty, pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're awesome. Um, so with that being said, if you've been a Suicide Boys fan for a very, very long time, 
then let me just say right away that this is not going to be your typical um, your typical Suicide Boys album. I guess I should say that. Um, this is going to be a lot more different. It's a lot more different this time. Um, the Suicide Boys pretty much take a little break from the whole kill, kill yourself theme. And instead, tell the world why they're pissed off. Because that's what I got from it. Is that these guys are pissed off. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know exactly why they're pers- why they're pissed off. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that nobody like that nobody listens to their music. Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out here that love their music. So it's not that. But I guess I guess you could say is a whole like. Is pretty much a whole like EP of just saying fuck society, I guess you could say. You know, like being being rebels, being different. The Suicide Boys are very, very different. You know, they're like a mix of underground hip hop with like rock and stuff. Although this time it's a lot more heavy metal, I guess you could say. It's it's a lot more heavy metal this time. Um but it's like, I guess, I guess I just wasn't expecting um, a lot of screaming and a lot of yelling this time. You know, when I when I think of a Suicide Boys album, I think of the like, you know, the mellow, like, you know, it's not fair, like that shit. Um, but, but like, I think of just like the mellow, like emo rap stuff. And like the underground stuff that they that they usually do, uh, when I listened to the first track and I had a and I like had these dudes fucking screaming, like in my ears and just like, like, blowing out my eardrums like. It's very, very, very different. It's very different this time. Not different in a bad way, like definitely not different in a bad way. It's just um. It's something to get used to, um, you know, working with Travis Barker, you obviously want to like do something like kind of new to what you're not used to doing, like kind of out of your comfort zone and out of like, you know, the, the usual stuff that you do with your music. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a lot more heavy metal this time. Um, not, not to mention, um, what's that dude's name? I think his name is like Monkey or some shit. Uh, he's the drummer for the band Korn. Uh, so he's he's in three songs. So it's a lot more hardcore than usual. A, a lot of screaming, a lot of like you know like drums being played in the background. Um, a little bit of of like some hip hop beats. You know, I, I have no doubt in my mind that the Suicide Boys were like working with some beats themselves in the studio to create this album. Uh, but overall, I just, I can just really tell that they're having fun with it. Um, you know, it's the kind of music they usually don't make, so they're having fun with it. They're bringing their fans something new. I mean, being able to work with Blink 182's like drummer, like it's like, it's freaking amazing. Like you know, obviously the production value is very great. You know, Travis, Travis Barker's uh, drum skills are. Very great as usual, you know. Uh, he never fails to impress me. You know, I may not be that big into heavy like rock, but Travis Barker is a really like is a really a uh, great uh, drummer, and that goes the same for Monkey. Um, you know, um, they both did really good here. The Suicide Boys did very well. Um, you know, a lot of like fast pace as usual. A lot, a lot of fast pace flow. Um, some very obscure and controversial lyrics. I'm not even gonna lie so much you know if this if this ep ends up getting um a lot more popular like in schools and stuff it's gonna be all over the goddamn news you know suicide boys freaking ruining young adolescents minds or whatever the hell fox news says or cnn or anybody else um but it's a really dope album 
Uh, to anyone who's, who's been a Suicide Boys fan for a very long time, I think you'll really like this. Anyone that's a fan of Travis Barker, uh, you'll really like this. Um, those guys are a very, very deadly combination. And I have no doubt in my mind that these guys will... That this will probably not be the last time they collab together. So, I'm excited to see the future for a for a future Travis Barker and Suicide Boys collab album once again. But with that being said, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Follow me on Instagram down below as always. DM me for requests. Go ahead and follow Suicide Boys and Travis Barker on Instagram down below if they do have an Instagram account. I um I tried to find Mac DeMarco's fucking Instagram account and he, turns out he doesn't have one, so my bad. That whole Mac DeMarco video is a big like not my best work. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, if they do have an Instagram an Instagram account, go ahead and follow them down below. Um, live fast die whenever is out now so go listen to it if you want it only has if i remember like i think only seven tracks it's only it's only like 14 minutes long so you know it's not it's not that bad or it's not that long at least um but with that being said thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the second upload and don't forget to stay happy. Guys, we're longer than the prison sentence. Hard enough, stay reinvented. Reinvented demon presence. I'm